What's going on there, guys? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earth Master on this finally Friday. It is December 23rd, 2022, about 9.49 a.m. here along the West Coast in California. 47 degrees and a little bit foggy out here. Hope everyone else is staying warm with the cold weather uh, back east. We did have some activity ramping up overnight down here around Antarctica, 5.8 along the Pacific Antarctica plate boundary. Latest quake, though, shows a 1.9 earthquake on the big island of Hawaii. I believe that's the earthquake right there on the Hot Caves Hawaii station showing up. All right, let's go ahead and check out this activity is happening around the globe, around the flat scale model Earth. One earthquake up here into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench as well, 4.9 off uh, into the Russia area. This is about 124 kilometers deep into this subduction zone. Been watching this pretty closely. We haven't really seen any sufficient large scale westward plate activity movement here. As far as the general movement here of the Pacific plate and the uh, pressure areas that we need to watch, most of the time here, we uh, by now we should have seen a, a major increase in activity across portions of uh, around the Philippines. Uh, let me go back here. Where am I? There we go. It's Friday. It's not Monday. Uh, but we should have seen some activity kicking up here around the Western Pacific and uh, more adjacent plates through the West. But we haven't seen that yet. A little cluster of swarming around the Indonesia area, mostly uh, some forest kicking off, some deep activity too kicking up into the Banda Sea region. That 5.8 down here well south of New Zealand along the um, oh, it's a couple different fracture zones down here. But in the general vicinity right along that plate boundary of the Pacific Antarctica Ridge, 5.8 at the uh, defaulted depth of 10 kilometers. <clears throat> A uh, little bit of movement up around the Tonga Trench. This one coming in early this morning. It looks like a 4.8. Now the Big Island Hawaii rocking a little bit here. I uh, got some earthquake activity that was coming in yesterday on the northwest portion here of the Big Island. And uh, there's a 3.0 coming in. We have seen a little bit more activity than normal up here around these uh, this little channel here. But as uh, far as the Mauna Loa activity goes, looks pretty quiet on the map today. Kilauea Volcano showing some uh, some activity around the crater area. Now that could just be adjustment with the uh, lack of um, magma and lava into the lava crater over there, lava lake. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick while we're on it. Hazard notification system. Um, let's go over here to Kilauea Volcano real quick here and see what's being reported. Now, updates are uh, basically put out, uh, I believe, once a week now with the Kilauea volcano activity or lack thereof. No recent update. In fact, the last update there was, uh, looks like about three days ago. Now, earthquake activity. Let's go ahead and check out a uh, seismic station here. Yeah, definitely some activity kicking up within the past 24 hours around Kilauea volcano. Uh, that's going to be right up here. Very obvious. But uh, we haven't really seen any major um, you know, noticeable change since both these volcanoes um, pretty much stopped erupting at the same time uh, around the 10th, 9th or 10th of this month. So we'll continue to watch it for any uh, further activity up in Alaska. Typical movement stretching up there. No further large scale activity. Uh, West Coast up in Washington. We did see some activity kicking up here. Northwest, north of uh, Mount St. Helens area, 2.9 and a 1.5 near, looks like Morton area of Washington, about 16 kilometers deep. That uh, 2.9 showed up on the seismograph station of Mount St. Helens last night. I did see that coming in. Uh, here in Northern California, now, <clears throat> let's see here. Yesterday, there was a period between 1 o'clock, and it looks like they turned... The reporting back on around eight or so but there was about a five hour period of no earthquakes being reported here in northern california but that's false um, because we were watching the seismograph stations show um obvious activity within that time period so i'm not for sure why they have a gap here with the reporting but it looks as though they may have turned it on for a little bit um and then maybe shut it off about two o'clock in the morning as well uh, I have seen some earthquake activity continuing there around the Petrolia Station in Northern California. We still see it there. 
we still see the activity. Now the bigger ones, the ones that are probably um, obviously 1.5 or above, will be showing up also on the Dinsmore station. Uh, but these right here look like they're very small microquakes, so maybe they don't want to report those. Uh, either way, there's still activity occurring in Northern California. This, this just hasn't dropped off um, with this quiet period that they're showing on the map. There's more. There's more to the story than what is going on there. 2.0 Nevada. Uh, Southern California, low activity around the Salton Sea just to the southwest. It looks like a 1.4. And a little movement near Salton City. 1.4 and a 1.9. Uh, just on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. There's the San Andreas Fault in the red line. Not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country. A whole lot of cold, but... Uh, doesn't look like any earthquake activity for the most part there. Puerto Rico area seeing a uh, 3.7 within the last hour. Northern side of Puerto Rico. South America, a little adjustment down there as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, way up here into the Russia region. 4.2 at 10 kilometers there for that earthquake. And um, man, not a whole lot going on as far as large scale activity goes recently. Uh, of course, that 5.8 south of New Zealand there along the uh, Pacific Antarctica Ridge. About the only large earthquake here within the last couple days, aside from the 6.4 that struck uh, uh, a little bit prior to that. Yellowstone activity, some movement, some very small microquake activity. No major adjustment going on. And um, that's, uh, that's about it for the earthquake activity. Now, the solar... Let me check Earthquakes Canada real quick and see what we got. Nada. Same event from last night up there around Alaska. Uh, space weather activity. Let me key this site up here. Chance of minor flares, it looks like. Um, although solar activity is currently low, it's likely to remain uh, so during the Christmas weekend. All of the sunspots on the Earth's side of the sun have relatively stable magnetic structures. And uh, looking at them, it appears so. Still kind of watching 3171 and a newer newer sunspot back around the bend here, 3173. Um, there's numerous, definitely numerous sunspots, but not a whole lot of potential there uh, for the auroras currently, or uh, at least for uh, any major solar flares. And looking uh, looking at the magnetic structure there, it looks, uh, man, it looks like they're just deteriorating pretty quickly. Even from last night, things are just uh, looking pretty stable. All right, folks, i uh, got to cut it short. Got a few things i got to do ASAP before it gets too late. And um, we'll be back here a little bit later on this evening with a complete update, unless something major changes here, of course. Um, solar flare activity. Looks like we had a little sea flare um, earlier this morning on the solar flare map up there, left hand top corner but aside from that no major major flare activity no major earthquake activity still just kind of waiting and watching here for um, for a breakthrough um, just kind of seeing some pretty neutral conditions here across areas of the western pacific and eastern pacific uh, plate boundaries and the adjacent plates but watch for this deep activity. We're starting to pick up deeper movement into certain regions that we haven't really seen any larger activity on. And that uh, obviously is a, uh, a key indicator of possibly something brewing within the subduction zones of those regions, the Curl Kamchaka Trench. Uh, areas possibly around the Tonga area as well. I know they've seen a lot of earthquake activity here over the last couple months, but uh, it doesn't really stop for all that long. Uh, it's almost always continuous earthquake activity down around this region of Fiji and the uh, Tonga area. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe. We will be back a little bit later on tonight. Have a good one.